Hello my students welcome you all to this online class of science with me my name is Abhishek Majumdar and you all are watching the first part of crop production and management from class 8 NCERT i hope you all are doing very well you all are studying very hard in this hard time of corona virus we all will overcome this very soon let's have a look on the first slides that is we will cover some of the topic here like food and its need for the large population and we will also cover about the agriculture types of crops that is kharif rabi and zaid crops then we will have a look on the india its and its having different types of crop in different states then we will read about some of the steps that are needed for the treatment of the soil for the agriculture and we will try to cover two first steps of the agriculture that is preparation of the soil and the sowing of the seeds now let's start the video with the food and its need for the large population as you already are familiar with the food that if we consume the food we get what we get energy and how does the food gives us energy it have so many of nutrients with which we get the energy for our growth development and reproduction and all so and you all are familiar with the term autotrophs and heterotrophs where autotrophs are the plants because they can make their own food and heterotrophs are dependent over the autotrophs because we human being or the other animals we cannot make our own food right but a question arises that to provide the food to such a large population in india what are the steps that we should take so here are the steps that first of all we should uh, first of all there should be a regular production of the food in india then there should be a proper management of the food throughout the india and there should be a proper distribution of the food to each and every individual isn't it so in this large india in this large country what we need we need a regulatory body for this so what is that regulatory body the ministry of food processing industry is that regulatory body which is governed under the government of india and is responsible for the formulation and administration of the laws and regulation right relating to the food processing in india and this ministry is currently headed by uh, shrimati harsimrat kaur badal she is the current cabinet minister must comment in the message section that who is the current state minister of this industry of this ministry here we have a chart of the food production uh for the uh, year 17 18 in million of tons where we can see that rice is the foremost produced crop in the india followed by wheat and other crops right so these are some of the cash crops which are produced in india for the year 17 18 in a huge amount so you can easily see the figure that 109.70 tons in two, in 1617 and uh, 112.91 tons in 1718 such a large amount of million tons of production of rice in india to provide the food to this large population isn't it now come to the fact that what the agriculture is it is simply the science and art of cultivating the plants and its livestock so when we will cultivate the plant or we will cultivate the crops cultivation means what taking or taking action or action of taking care for improving something or someone like for improving the quality of the crops and taking care of them and crops are what when plants of same species are cultivated in a large scale in one place that is known as what crops here we can see some of the pictures of the crops like the wheat crops maize crops and the rice crops so when these plants are cultivated in a large scale in one place these are known as what crops now the question arises how this agriculture come or how this agriculture become a part of this human civilization as from 10000 uh, up to 10000 bce right up to 10000 bc people were what they were nomadic not we see before christ people were what they were nomadic so when people were nomadic they used to wander from one place to another place but when they settled down at one place they started what they started cultivating the crops they started cultivating the crops for the um 
for providing the food to their own civilization that's how the human civilization settles down at one place and the born of the agricultures or the rise of the agriculture started at uh, from there isn't it so now the next question arises that what are crops and uh, as we have already seen that what the crop is so how, so how many uh, types of crops are there there are three types of crops that is the cereals vegetables and fruits remember these three types of crops are there cereals vegetables and fruit and in cereals we have seen that is the wheat barley rice maize oats and millets these are some of the cereals these are some of this is a picture of some of the cereals which with you already are familiar right so these crops are what these are dependent over the climatic condition remember these crops are dependent over the climatic condition like the temperature humidity rainfall and and, and in india as we know that india is a very vast country very large country so obviously the temperature humidity rainfall depends from one place to another place that's why in this diverse nature of india the cropping pattern has been divided into three main types that is kharif crop rabi crop and zaid crop now let's have a look of these cropping patterns that what the kharif crop is then the crops which are shown in the month of june and harvested in the month of september that are known as kharif crop because these are known as rainy season crops as you all know the month of june to september is what rainy season that is these crops are rainy season crops because these crops need what large amount of water for their uh, growth well growth right some of the examples of those crops are what rice corn soybean sugar groundnut cotton maize etc these are some of the examples of what kharif crop now let's have a look on the rabi crop what are the rabi crops the crops which are sown in the month of october and harvested in the month of march right so these crops are what winter season crops here we have some of the examples like the wheat gram peas mustard linseed broccoli almond chickpea etc these are some of the examples of what rabi crops now at last we have the uh, the summer crop that is about the which is termed as what zaid crop so summer crops this is grown in between the rabi and the kharif crop season that is in the month of march to june and almost all the vegetables that is in term known as the horticulture these are grown in this season right that is a horticulture season or the zaid crop season some of the examples are the cucumber watermelon bitter gourd mux melon these are some of the examples of what zaid crop Do, don't forget this students now in this slide we will compare the kharif and the rabi crop producing states in india if you can see all the green parts of this these all states are what this all state produce the highest amount of rice um where the uttar pradesh is the highest producing state of the rice similarly in this right um uh, slide um, in the year of 20, in the year of 1516 the highest producing state of wheat is the uttar pradesh followed by maharashtra and punjab i'm sorry madhya pradesh and punjab isn't it so if we consider or if we compare the kharif crop and the rabi crop that is kharif crop is what rice and rabi crop is wheat so this is the final result that the uttar pradesh is the highest producing state in both the crops isn't it don't forget it students also try to remember the second producing and the third producing state of wheat as well as the rice now let's look let's have a look on the agriculture practices so what do you mean by the agriculture practices so when some of the activities or tasks are performed by the farmers these are known as what agriculture practices right so these are some of the practices right first of all the farmer used to do what they have to prepare the soil for the uh, seeds then they have to sow the seeds then after they will add the manure and fertilizer then irrigation that means irrigation mean what adding water okay adding what water then also at last uh, then the protection from the weeds after then when the crops will get mature okay when the crops will get mature they will get harvested means the cutting down of the those crops means harvesting and then at last we will store the crops which we have grown isn't it 
remember these points now let's have a look on the first step that is about the preparation of the soil so what do you mean by the preparation of the soil preparation of the soil simply means the loosening and turning of the soil and loosening and turning of the soil will give or how will it be beneficial to the farmer this will do what this will allow the deep penetration of the roots of the plants and they will allow the easy aeration now what do you mean by aeration aeration means simply the movement of air right movement of air that means aeration now in the air obviously the water in vapor form that is the moisture will also get uh, moved get easily moved in the soil which will be beneficial for the crops isn't it so for the preparation of the soil what are the tools that we can use here we can see some of the traditional tools like the plowing okay and um plowing or set tilling so when the loosening or turning of the soil is known as what plowing and we can do plow uh, we can do this plowing with the help of what plow right p l o u g h which is known as plow so here the uh, picture of this plow that uh, here it is a type of um, um plow shaft and the plow share this plow share is sharp in nature which used to dig the soil and this plow shaft used to mainly hold the plow share right and this beam used to be hold with the help of these animals animals may be horse or the cows are used for plowing or say tilling of soil isn't it also we can use some of the iron tools like the hoe this can be used for the um, small a uh, field right so when a farmer use uh, f- when a farmer want to uh, prepare a s- f- small field they th- that that farmer may use the traditional tools like iron tools like hoe these are some of the pictures of the hoe and nowadays the modern methods a cultivator is used right a cultivator means with the help of a t- uh, tractor this is a cultivator this is a machine which used to till the or the which used to um, prepare the soil which used to loosen the soil very easily and that save both the labor as well as the time isn't it now let's look have let's have a look on the second slide that is about the sowing so after preparation what we need we need to sow the seeds so what do you mean by sowing it is the process of planting what seeds right so in sowing generally little soil is placed over the seeds and it can be done both by hands here we have a, um, a look on a very nice picture that's a person is uh, sowing the seeds which will get germinated into what plants isn't it so this can be done with the help of the means they they this can be done by both the hands or as well, or as well as by some traditional methods like a farmer means some farmers are uh, sowing the seeds here with the help of what some funnels okay this funnel will do what they will help the farmer for the regular interval of seeds okay when they will sow the seeds it will get placed in a regular interval isn't it but nowadays which will save both the time as well as the labor that's why we use is what seed drill it is a picture of a seed drill where some buckets are used these buckets used to carry the seeds and these are the uh uh these are the parts from where the seeds will sow into the soil as in don't remember, uh, don't forget this part students so it is our it is the end of our first video So here we have uh, some of the practice question I hope that you all will do this question in your home in which don't forget the fourth step of the agriculture practice as I have already explained it in the previous slide that what will be the fourth step of agriculture you must answer it in the message section below right so with the help of these all slides and I am going to end the first part of this uh chapter here 
होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल यू ऑल आर स्टार्टिंग वेरी हार्ड थैंक यू एंड मे गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल